everyone, this is Chris Lewicki, President and Chief Asteroid Miner at Planetary Resources, and today I'm pleased to be joined by one of my colleagues. Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Beasley, Astrophysicist, Optical Engineer, and Lord of Light here at Planetary Resources. Today we're announcing the launch of a new project that we're really excited about, the Asteroid Zoo. Through a grant provided by Planetary Resources to the Adler Planetarium, we're working together to help the world find more asteroids, whether they're a threat or an opportunity and we'll use this knowledge to improve asteroid detection science. This project was in part enabled by you through your generous support of the ARCID Kickstarter, and it's just one of the many activities we're working on to involve the world as we head to the asteroids and begin mining them for resources. We're fortunate to have the data from the most productive asteroid survey in the world, the Catalina Sky Survey. With this data, Asteroid Zoo will need you, a citizen scientist, and your expertise to help us discover and learn more about the asteroids in our solar system. Now, you may already know, but many ask us here at Planetary Resources, how are asteroids actually discovered? Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? It's fairly simple. Astronomers take a series of images in the same place in the sky, several minutes apart. In each image, all the stars will stay still. If an asteroid is present, you'll see it moving to a new position in every frame. Astronomers sometimes use their eyes to find asteroids with this method, but many asteroids appear faint, which makes them hard to see with the human eye. To help find faint asteroids, astronomers have also written computer programs to try and find all the faint asteroids, which are super hard to see. And that's where you come in, along with over a million other citizen scientists, or zooites, in the Zooniverse. You're going to help us find the asteroids that the Catalina astronomers and algorithms may have missed. Let's take a look at the Asteroid Zoo interface on the website and show you how it works. Here's a quick walkthrough of the process. You'll start with a series of four images that you can play in sequence or invert, like a film negative, to try and detect asteroids. Your job is to look and find every object that moves across the images over the series of four images. Once you find an asteroid, you can freeze the frame with your mouse, click to put an X on the asteroid in each frame. This way, the experts can go back later and see if the objects you identified were in fact asteroids. If you see something else that isn't an asteroid but you think is worth noting, mark with the artifact option. When you're done, you press finish and move on to the next series of images in a different part of the sky. We have a huge imagery data set to sift through, literally hundreds of thousands of images that could contain new asteroids for you to discover. We'll need a big team of people, which is why Zooniverse is a great partner for this project. We're also happy to have the support of other partners in the project. The raw data has been provided by the University of Arizona's Catalina Sky Survey. Catalina is funded by NASA's Near-Earth Objects Observation Program and led by Dr. Eric Christensen and Dr. Steve Larson. Thanks, guys. We're also grateful to Amazon.com, who is hosting the data on the internet through their sponsorship of an Amazon Web Services public data set. A special thanks to Planetary Resources Vanguard, Jamie Kinney, for that. Thanks, Jamie. With improved detection of asteroids from you, we will be able to develop better algorithms and techniques like machine learning. Maybe you'll be the one to find the asteroid that'll be a target for human exploration, deflection, or the first asteroid mine, allowing humanity's continued prosperity into the solar system. Thanks, everyone. And, and good, good hunting. hunting.